How do we go from this to this? Is this the most affordable, almost custom geometry bike that you can buy? This is a Made in Wales superbike. But we've seen this before, haven't we? Uh, a bike that's the brainchild of the fastest family in DH. With ultra innovative manufacturing techniques, with highly advanced suspension systems, and a bike that's in a range of sizes. But this is a very, very different beast. Using subtractive manufacturing techniques, this is the new S series from the Athertons. <laughs> G, Dan and Rach were young rebels riding everywhere and they used their move to mid Wales as fuel for their fire to get to the top step of the podium at World Cups and World Championships. More recently, they've built one of the best bike parks on the planet at the same time as building their own bike brand from the ground up. Aluminium alloy has been used in mountain biking since its very earliest moments, since we drifted off the repack and started riding up and down trails. And that's mainly due to the early innovators such as Charlie Cunningham and Gary Klein. Whilst there was the occasional spark of a return to innovative metal, the majority of innovation has been in carbon fibre, and more latterly with additive manufacturing, which the Athertons have used to podium success in both World Cups and World Championships. Now, 40 years on, we're back to metal bikes being at the cutting edge of innovation and manufacturing technologies. The idea behind developing the new bike, the, the S170, it was born from the Dovey, really, from the bike park. We spend a lot of time there seeing what people are riding, what they're turning up on, and how many bikes people were going through. We came up with the plan to develop bikes that were made for riders strong bikes that were affordable, accessible to more people, and the S range was what we came up with. This is all metal. So how does one of the most innovative bike brands out there that's making 3D printed additive manufacturing bikes come up with a metal bike? Subtractive design, that's how. So d developing the, the bike from scratch obviously is, is a huge undertaking. The key people involved in that were uh, our two design engineers, Scott Acethorpe and Will Kahn, who joined the company as grads, have been with us now almost three years, and are hugely talented and hardworking, committed individuals. So the three of us working together, blank sheet of paper, went out, looked at all, all manner of different technologies, really trying not to be blinkered by the, uh, the existing product, cast the net as wide as possible, looking at everything from traditional welding, uh, Far East UK, through to the latest innovations in additive manufacturing, binder jet. And after that entire process, lots of concepts, judging it all back against the original design brief, came back and, and ultimately ended up with, with lug and tube. Hang on, lug and tube? Yeah, no, this isn't lug and tube like classic old road or vintage mountain bikes where we are using steel pipes and lugs to kind of create a butting thing. This is all new and ultra innovative. They're using ultra machined lugs and then custom drawn tubes. There's a double lap shear joint in there too and some secret sauce that's, well, secret and possibly cutting edge. Cutting, cutting? Cutting is the key word, yeah. Whereas with additive manufacturing, we're using magical machines to grow objects almost into impossible forms. Whereas with subtractive manufacturing, we're cutting, we're filing, machining, milling, squashing big chunks, often big blocks of alloy down into a new form. You're subtracting material away. Having the fastest family in DH to help carve out rock solid geometry is an enviable position for any bike brand. So it's not wildly surprising that these S-Series bikes have gone down the same geometric path that the A-Series have. For the S-Series, you've got a head angle of 63.3 degrees, an effective seat angle of 76.6, .6, 
Chainstay lengths are size specific, so from 430 to 435 to 440, with reach growing 10 mil across the sizes, from 405 in the smallest to 515 in the largest. This bike is going to be available in a staggering 12 sizes. OK, I say staggering, that's actually down from the 22 that the additive manufacturing bikes are available. But it, still, 12 is a really impressive number. Most brands do five or six, but, but why 12? We offer 12 sizes, so that's 10 mil increments on the reach. Offering 12 sizes is vital for us because it's core to the, the genuine beliefs of the founders of the company. Over the years of racing World Cups, we've seen how important that perfect fit is. A well-fitted bike is absolutely fundamental to that bike performing well and being fun to ride. You, know, you, you jump on your bike, you feel at home, you feel natural, you feel like you can push as hard as you like. It's as close to custom sizing as you can get without going down that custom build premium price point. Atherton say that they've left no stone unturned when they've chosen this new manufacturing technique. And that level of detail goes through to all the other aspects of the bike. The cable routing is clean and considered. The suspension system is World Cup proven. We know that Dave Weigel really knows what he's doing with suspension. The tyre and mud clearance is ample too. No doubt thanks to being designed in the deep mud of Mid Wales. Without getting too highbrow, there's a real Bauhaus feel to this bike. It's simple, it's minimal, it's true to its materials, it's function over form. If Dieter Rams had designed a rad, raucous Endura machine, I feel it would look like this. Despite some of these processes being secret, we know that having a close eye on these processes is key in the way that the Athertons want to build a better bike and build it local. The local manufacturing is vital to what we're doing. So the fact that we're able to expand, we're opening up our new facility, and, and generate, you know, high-skilled jobs. It's about the community, you know, the lads that work here are building the bikes, seeing every detail of, of what goes on in the bikes, and then out there shredding at the park on the weekend. And we've got guys that join the dig crew that are now in the manufacturing side and are working with the company, and, and it's brilliant. It's what, it's, what, it's what we dreamed we'd have. But it's not just local manufacturing, it's local testing too. The great thing about being here in, in Dovey is we've got a perfect test ground in the form of W Bike Park um, and the perfect testers in the form of the, the dig crew, a kind of extended kind of Atherton family. As, as a product designer, whether you're working, you're designing a, a vacuum cleaner or a washing machine or a bit of an aircraft, until you break something, you don't know how strong it is. I mean, that, that's a really healthy um, sort of foundation of approaching design. And we knew we were doing lots of new stuff in this product, so we set out to go and break it. All this thorough testing gives the Athertons the confidence to give you a lifetime warranty on the frame. And, and the way we've got that confidence is because we've been through this very thorough loop of testing where you, are, you take your, your virtual world in the form of finite element analysis simulation, you test it on the track, so as real world as you can get, which obviously is, is amazing because you, you're subjecting the bike to real world forces but you can't really quantify them. But then you do lab testing, which is what we do with this brilliant company in Germany called EFBE. And so they complete testing that is obviously quantifiable, and then that loops back into our, into our system. So again, you've got this continuous loop um, of development, which means that you can release a product, you've got confidence that it's, it's going to do the job that you've designed it to do. What the Athertons have created here is unlike anything else we've seen in a long, long time. It's an ultra-innovative aluminium alloy chassis with great suspension, a huge range of sizes, 12, and it's made here in Wales. If you've ever lost it after or dreamed about a custom bike, this is something definitely to look hard at.